Louisiana Living. And welcome back. We're live on location at the St. Jude Dream Home, and I'm here with Joe Tiffany Paul from Sleepy Hollow Furniture. And so she donates her time and money to make the dream home happen. So we're so happy to have you here with us, Joe Tiffany. Thank you so much for joining us. You've been involved in the dream home for a number of years now. Why is it important to you to support this worthy cause? So we love everything about St. Jude. And um, as I've had more children that have known friends that have had to go or um, you know, it really hits home as mm -hmm. to how much they do in our local community, not just um, across the country, but it really happens to help people you actually know and no parents should have to worry about any of the medical bills So I love the cause for that. How many years have you been involved in the dream home and talk about Sleepy Hollow's role? So it's right at 10 years mm -hmm. and um, So we started doing a bedroom and um, decorating it and then we've just grown into being the sponsor for the um, furniture. Jan does a phenomenal job. She comes in and you know every year she just kind of has full access to choose whatever she'd like to in the home and um, I think she does a great job showcasing and piecing yeah, things together uh, and making it fit with the style of the home itself. So it's always exciting for me to come and see and it's like, oh, it really looks like someone lives here. You've done a great job furnishing the home. I've looked at the bedrooms and um, just the gorgeous uh, kitchen and uh, everything that uh, you've done as far as the shelves. They look great. If some are, someone were to come in and say in the winter. Sure sees the home and says, you know, I like the furniture the way it is. Would they have an opportunity to uh, be able to buy the furniture? Yes, certainly. Um, and so that we also do, whenever we bring the furniture back to Sleepy Hollow, we do a special showcase. So the winner doesn't have to have this. Quite often they already have their own furniture, like mm -hmm. we all moved into new homes. But, um, you know, people say, oh, I love the way this, or can we have this? And so it is all inline furniture that we do carry and um, offer some design services where we can help piece together different things that work with anybody's home. When they come to the open house, that's really one of the things they get to see is mm -hmm. all the offerings. What technique do you use when you furnish the homes? Um, so my role has actually lessened through the years of this, mm -hmm. and Jan has taken over the majority of the staging. So our role primarily is just making everything available to her. So whatever she chooses, then um, we just say yes, basically. <laughs> so anything she wants, we just make sure it comes here and she ties it all together. and. Um, and that's my job, is to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wonderful job yeah. to have. Anything else that you would like to add, Joe Tiffany, before we head to a break? Um, I would say anybody who has not come to the home, I would really encourage them to. We do offer an open house prize, mm -hmm. so um, they can win a $10,000 um, shopping giveaway for awesome. Sleepy Furniture, yeah. so whether it's this or anything else. Um, just by showing up and it doesn't cost them anything and it really um, it really supports it through our community just to come and tour and see what all our, our um, donors have done. Great. Joe Tiffany, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you. And the home is finished, but we are having a little construction on the roof. And so uh, that's the noise that you hear, the roofers um, above us. But we're going to talk more about the construction and the design of the home. After the break, we'll be joined by Braco Construction. So stick around. We'll be right back.